Hey guys, welcome back. This is Anthony Tahara, your local Orlando real estate agent. And today I have some Orlando new construction by Pulte in Sunset Preserve. And the floor plan is the Berkeley Grand. Now this gorgeous home is six bedrooms, four to four and a half bathrooms, depending on options, three car garage and 4,231 square feet under AC. Now the price of this home at the time of video is 817,490, and the HOA is 177,50 per month. Now there's no CDD, which is great, and it's a gated community with a community boat ramp and dock on Lake Pickett. This is a fabulous home. I love this home. I want to show it to you. Hit the subscribe and alert down below because it helps us bring you these videos every week and let's go see this gorgeous home. All right, guys, so here we are in front of the Berkeley Grand here in Sunset Preserve. Now, I wanna let you know this farmhouse look is, I love it, it's one of the, my favorite looks. As you can see, like those farmhouse slats on the second floor where those windows are and the peaks and the design of the home, love it. Also, if you look all the way back, one of the loft rooms back there, you see that straight edge roof. I love it with the combined peaks of the garage, which is your three car garage. But you have all these windows on the front side of the home, leaving all this manicured landscaping as we walk up to the foyer of the home. Now again, guys, on the left side of the home is your three set car garage. You have the two set and then the one singular set on the side where the house numbers are and then three coach lights across. Love that, right? But as you walk up to your home, you have this nice foyer area. I can imagine a bench somewhere here or even like a, one of those Amazon package boxes here and right behind, hidden behind this uh, you know, pillar. <laughs> now, we do have a red door today. I like this door. Yeah. I like everything about it. Yeah, it has the mosaic glass in it. It has the side looky-loos. Well, I haven't seen the looky-loo in a while, right? No, you haven't. <laughs> and now we have this slanged door lock right here where you could just punch in your code if you have a bunch of groceries in your hand, right? So let's go in this home and see the rest of the home. All right, guys. So as you enter the Berkeley, we have to take a look. Pam, come back this way with me. I'm going to have Pam stand shoulder to shoulder because you got to look at it, guys. Look at the railing and the stair set on the right. Love it. With the ceiling height, this is about 20 feet at least. The ceiling's 20. This entry from here to here to the back wall is 7 by 19. 7 by 19. Keep going. Beautiful. Keep going. Yeah, to the, yeah. Right here? To there. It's 19. 7 by 19. It's just the entryway, guys. You can park a motorcycle here if you want. That's what she's saying. <laughs> now, we have this little table in the hallway with a mirror, but before we keep moving on, right, as on the left, as soon as you come into the home, we have our flex room with our double doors here, right? You can see you have a de enough space for a desk and a cadenza on the back side. Go ahead, Pam. It has a closet. It does have a so closet. So you can make this into a bedroom if That's you true. wanted to. Guest room, bedroom, that's true. So there is a little storage closet. That's actually pretty deep, honestly. Mm -hmm. Really nice. I mean, I like the wire shelves because you can put your office supplies in there right but if you needed to knock those out and make this a bedroom that is totally an option guys now this is one big decorative window look at that i mean i know it has the beam in it that's just for decorative reasons but this is one panel guys i love that it brings in a lot of natural light and this is knee height very nice and that faces the front of the home as well go ahead pam how big is the room 13 by 10. 13 by 10, love it, love it. So this is one of my favorite flex spaces. You have a seating area here as well, and it's just nice and quiet. You gotta be here to enjoy it, but like this community, this space is just a lot of serenity. So let's go through with our 20 foot ceilings. <laughs> We're gonna get to the stairways as always, as we get to the home. Let's cut through before we get to the open areas, and I'm gonna head to the back of the home. Right, and why I say it's the back of the home is because when we get to this point on the hallway, we have our built-in mud bench, right? And this drop, like this is like the mud area of the home because your three-car garage is here, 
right? But you also have a little closet here for linens. And Pam is gonna go right into the laundry room, which Whoops. I love. <laughs> Without hitting the wall, Pam, <laughs> you make them dizzy. <laughs> Go ahead. This is 10 by 6. 10 by 6. So let's start off showing and in the laundry room you have the above cabinetry which is an option but you have your washer and dryer. There's that little dryer rack that doesn't come uh, unfortunately with the home. But then we also have our folding table that is a has a granite edge or this is actually quartz. Quartz edge. White cabinetry or like it's like a cream right? Cream cabinetry. Cream white. I want to say, anyways, you have the utility <laughs> sink, right? And uh, you have a gooseneck here as well. That shelf definitely does not come with the house, but it looks nice. But it's functional. I like yeah, it. Yeah, it does. It does. So, oops, sorry. And then we come back out as I knock through the house. <laughs> What's the expression? You break it, you buy it? Uh, it how about the expression bull, bull in a china shop? Right? <laughs> I like that better. <laughs> so here, here is another bedroom behind that um, closet space or the uh, laundry room space. And this is it's set up like for a kid's room, which is really nice. It does have a sliding door closet, which Pam can show you really quickly. As she tells you how big it is. 11 by 12. 11 by 12. Now guys, I know you're going like, eh, it's kind of weird. It's like offside to like the garage and all that. The reason why is that this is the beginning. This is like side A to the Jack and Jill of this home. So we do have dual vanities here. We have all this white cabinetry that has functional soft lamb drawers. We have the, of course, mirror pendant lighting. We have our shower bath option here. Love the hexagon tile, about six, seven feet up for the kids, right, and the commode. And this luxury tile does flow through the whole first floor of the home. Now, what I do love as well is that they have a pocket door. Oh, it's there and here too. Yep. So, oh. yeah, you can close these off, pocket door, right? You know, I like that because you don't feel like you're getting attacked by doors. Exactly. You know, you know, and it's also saving space. You don't yes. have swinging doors covering the main areas that you need to use as you flow through the Jack and Jill space. Now, the only swinging door is this one, and that's because that's the other brother's room, right? He's like, hey, don't come in my room. <laughs> so his name is Aiden James, and Aiden has a full-size bed two nice stands and a dresser here with a large octagon mirror but we also have our window for natural light and Aiden has a sliding closet door here for himself to share in the Jack and Jill set now go ahead Pam well, how big is this one 11 by 12 11 by 12 and we did the other one right yes so these are for the younger kids of the home I would imagine now let me show you for that teenager right that teenager, he's going to want his own space. So we get back into the hallway areas of the home, right? There's a bathroom right here in the corner. We'll show you that in a minute. But we have a linen closet for that bathroom we just showed you, right? Nice, big, and deep. And then offset from the Jack and Jill on its own is another bedroom suite. So this one has a walk-in closet, but we have a full-size bed. We have the dresser here, a seating area, nice stands, nine-foot ceilings, window for natural light. That, and while you're giving them, showing them that walk-in, how big is this one? 11 by 11. 11 by 11. So this is for big brother, right? <laughs> big sister. Big Whoever's sister. going to college, right? <laughs> and I would think not only is this the shared bath for the pool area, but they can also use this as their own. Right, and we have the bathroom for those areas here. So we have the shower. I'm gonna get out of your way. Sorry, Pam. That's right. Right, same hexagon tiles as the kids' uh, shower. Right, and I love the seamless glass and the pebbles. And we had that door. I don't know if Pam showed you the door going out to the pool area here. It's just a door. And then we have a pedestal sink here with the. Uh, uh, Quartz top and then the mirror pendant lighting, very nice. And then the commode, of course. So again, anybody can use this, but it's nice that it's next to that other bedroom. Guys, we flow right back into the open areas of the home. So I like that whole revolving thing where you just come back out. So now I gotta get into this. <laughs> Let's start with our pantry. We never start with the pantry first. So today we're starting with the pantry first. Nice old big old pantry, right? Yes. We have a long island 
right, with industrial gooseneck stainless steel sink, right? We have on the sides, they open up as well, right? Like we've seen before. So it has the decorative ends with the shelving units. So those open up. We, go ahead, Pam. And the island's 12 feet. 12, 12 feet, feet, which sits three to four people comfortably, right? We also have, it's a gourmet kitchen, guys. So it's going to have those cabinets on the top, double stack. Then we have the convection oven, regular oven set here. And then we have our doggy draw all the way in the bottom. So, you know, Clifford's got to eat his snacks. And then uh, same gray quartz that was in those bathrooms. I need to show you the uh, dishwasher in reference to the island as we come up. And then we have a lot of functioning drawers down here. We have a lot of surface top. We got a range, a five burner uh, range here, and then a hood range here that does vent out of the home. Very nice, right? And I do like, I kind of like this, this backsplash. It's unique. I've never seen this. This is kind of cool. So it has I like, a, a texture on it now. Yeah, like a little, like a, yeah. Yeah, yeah really nice. So guys, also, they've, they've also added these uh, specialty drawer sets here for pots and pans. Very big, very deep. And you even got a corner one. I love the corner ones. Lazy Susan. Yeah, we haven't seen this one in a while, right? Look at that. Yeah. They all turn. You put your spices in there. Man, that's pretty nice. All right, so, so there is a lot to go on in these kitchens. Now, we do have the refrigerator cubby that is, has a overhang. And we also have, look, a wine fridge. Oh, talking my language. I would remove the plant, put the coffee station, maybe, or maybe on the other side, right? And then this is all alcohol. All alcohol. <laughs> all alcohol. As, as this is what they're trying to tell you. Put the alcohol here, guys. And another cabinet. Very nice with this. Now, before we go into the living room, I want to show you your breakfast nook here. Guys, look how big this breakfast nook is. Six to eight people on this table very easily. Two windows for natural light. Enough space for this very unique cadenza. Look at this. I love that. Oh, it's fancy. Yeah. We're into the furniture stuff now. It's too late to go back. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I love the way they set it up, the lights and everything. Again, we have the two windows here. Guys, I love the pocket doors. Oh, that's right. You got to give before I keep moving on. Go Thank ahead, Pam. You. Go ahead. Thank you. 13 what is by 13. It? 13 by 13 for the, uh, what is that? The, the uh, dining room. Dining room space, right. So I might. Oh, you got have, them open. I couldn't open them. Yep. Look, guys, hideaway corner, right? Wall in the way in February, in December, January to your home as you have the indoor and the outdoor space. And it's a little cooler here in Orlando. And then your living room just opens up into here. So that makes your living area double at least. And then if you get the option of the outside summer kitchen, oh, th talk about throwing on some steaks, right? Some burgers hanging out, opening up this whole home up. You got this range, you got the hood, you got another fridge for the beers, you got a sink to clean the dishes, but you know, it's gonna be plastic for me and paper. Exactly. So, I mean, I'll wash my hands there and then those plates are going out. <laughs> but more cabinetry and guys, look, a six seater here. That's just an idea. You can furnish the place the way you want, right? And then another seating area. I love this though, for here, this corner, because it kind of like extends your living room. Right. I'm thinking about breakout conversations between your, your guests is amazing. And we Wait, got behind you. You still have more space. I know. Like I was going to get to that, but I'm really excited about the half acre lot. Look at this. Wow. Dibs. I mean, I call dibs. I call dibs on the out. I, I love this. I just love this openness. This is this amazing. to me. These corner windows like this. This is so nice, guys. Just imagine, literally, you can do whatever you want. Here, pool, you're like, oh, Anthony, are we gonna have enough space because the house is so big for a pool? Yeah, half acre lot. Yeah, you can put you know a what? launch pad. <laughs> I'm gonna walk out there just so they can get the idea. Hey, put a helicopter pad if you want back there. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much space, it's so much space. But Pam, when you turn around, right? I don't know if you can still hear me, but um, I just wanna show them where the bath is for the pool area or the pool bath
Guys, so as I'm closing up your outdoor space, boom, we're all closed up, right? We're back into your living room area. Let's talk a little bit about the living room, obviously. Um, so we have two large couches, two chairs here very easily. Pam, how big is this living room space? 20 by 15. 20 by 15. You're gonna need a TV that swings this way. Exactly. <laughs> like one of those arms that switch, so you can see from outside when you open those doors up, yeah. right? But we have a fan in the middle and I, I kind of like the notched out tray ceilings that they have going on up here. But this is a nice space, guys, really. With the tile, it just looks wide open. Now, we have to do the primary, right? Correct. Let's go, guys. We have, I love the, the corner caddied doors that as a dual door into your big primary suite. Big old drawer set, big mirror. We've got a couch in here. This is a good, what? <laughs> got a couch. Right? This got, room is 21 by 13. Oh my good. 21 by 13. You have two windows that face the rear yard and one on the side for natural lighting. King size bed because, you know, I mean, if you got a couch and then you put a twin size bed, it doesn't make sense. Right? You got nice stands. I mean, beautiful tray ceiling. Right? They went with the lamp or the chandelier here. I like it. It's yeah. funky looking. Yeah, it's nice. It's like, I can't tell which way the light bulb is. Hey, look at the UFOs yeah. going on. Yeah, definitely. And look, guys, just to let you know, 20 by, what you said, 13, 14? 13, yeah. Yeah. Look how much space after the nightstand yeah. you have in this corner. You can put another chair here. It's like, it's crazy. Now, let's go down the hallway. We have his and hers, or vice versa, closets, right? Yeah, this one is 11 by 15. 11? Uh, no, I'm sorry, 11 by 5. 11 by 5, right? And on the other side, in the hallway, we got a bigger one. <laughs> this is 13 by 10. There you go. There you go. I'll let you guys decide which is whose is whose and what's is what's, right? So as we come in, look, I love it. I love the, the thinking, you know, with the pocket doors. I'm a pocket door fan because... I miss that totally again. It saves space coming yeah, no, into the nice. home. It's nice. Love it. We have our commode room here. And then when Pam turns around, she's going to show you the linen closet, right? And then I'm going to show you the dual vanity that's very long. Lots of functioning cabinets here. Look at this. All these are functioning cabinets, big drawers, and ones that are under the sink, all those function, soft slam, long mirror, two pendant lightings, two sinks, chrome, and then Pam's gonna pull up and show you. Ta-da. Oh my goodness. My tub. Woof. I love that faucet that comes, like that waterfall faucet yes. that comes right over the middle of the tub with those two windows. Oh, imagine it, Pam. That is a nice feature. Dibs. <laughs> and now Pam is going to also show you the shower stall here, right, with the two pieces of glass in the wall set for lighting. And then you got a transom window up top, right? You have, I love the slate tile. You have a rain head shower head and a regular shower head, a niche right behind the bench, and then some hexagon tile on the floor. Very nice. And the bathroom is 14 by 8. 14 by 8. 14 by 8. Okay, cool. So that's a good big size bathroom. Like this whole side of the house is just the primary. Well, I like it. It's separated. Yeah, yeah. So that's great. So guys, now is the time to go upstairs and wow you again. But as we're going up the stairs, as always, we're going to talk about what's around the area. All right, guys. So as Pam is going up the stairs, I just want to let you know that MCO is 30 minutes away. Disney's 46 minutes away. Waterford Lakes Town Center is 16 minutes away. And your very own Publix is seven minutes door to door. All right, guys. So as we get to the second floor of the Berkeley Grand, the reason why this is grand, look at this. Look at this. This is crazy. Okay, first, let's look at this long couch. We have two windows for natural lighting. We have another bay window over here for natural lighting, right? This is the media area of, you know, of course, me and Pam, forget this furniture. Me and Pam were like, forget the, the, the skeet ball thing here. No, I would keep that. I would keep that. Oh. I would do a projection screen. That's what I was saying. Like, yeah. I would get that, put the, the sofa against the wall, projection screen here. Man, that is amazing. But I do like the furniture that they picked. Uh, this is pretty unique. Man, they got to upgrade that fake TV. 
<laughs> <laughs> but this is a great space. And then I like, if you, got, you guys like playing card games, if you like playing poker, this is a nice little area for that. Now, what is the size of this? This is 22 by 16. 22 by 16? Yes. Holy smokes. I mean, the ceiling height is still like eight, eight and a half, nine feet. No, I'd say it's nine feet. Yeah. And then you got a fan up here very easily, but this is such a nice loft. Okay. Now, I also want to point out, we do have the two-story ceiling over here for the foyer, but look at the black railing, right? How it wraps around into the hallway going forward, right? Love this, guys. Look at this. Nice hallway space. This is at least five feet or more. Right, and this all wraps around that open area onto the 20 foot ceiling from the front door. I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now guys, as you follow me through to the hallway, I, as you can tell, it's a little zigzag, <laughs> right? We have a utility closet is the first door here with storage, right? Oh my goodness. So, oh my goodness. Yep, we have our two ACs right here with storage here. So. If you don't know where to put that Christmas tree, and I know my people from up north are used to basements, stick it in there. <laughs> Decorations and all. Yep, everything. Now we have an, a room here across from the utility closet, which I love the way they decorate it, right? We have a window for natural lighting, full-size bed, nice stands, love the decorations again, right? Credenza on that side with a mirror, but we also have that sliding closet. And Pam, what's the size? 11 by 10. 11 by 10 for this bedroom, guys. Now, as we move along, we get to the end of the hall here and we have a bathroom and then we have another bedroom. Let's start with this bathroom here, which has a linen closet right as you walk it in. And it's a fully functioning bathroom, right? For the secondary bedrooms. So you get this long top with the, you know, the uh, sinks here. We got the mirror and the pendant lighting is on each side. All these drawers are functional and soft slam. Window right behind me, right? Hexagon tiling again that is seamless from downstairs with the tub, commode hidden in the corner, and that blonde tile from downstairs follows us up to the wet areas up here. I'm gonna run by Pam and we're gonna jump across the hall, guys, into another bedroom now here's the window for natural lighting full-size bed for the princess of the home love the rose fe features that they put here nice stands of course seating area and then another cadenza with mirror and behind pam is another sliding half step in and, and it's 11 by 10 11 by 10 fantastic guys i know that felt short right the second floor felt short but it's still big because most of it is open area in that loft, <laughs> but I love this home, right? And if you need to feel it, touch it, smell it, give me a call at 407-790-0929. My name is Anthony Tata, your local Orlando real estate agent. Hit that subscribe and alert, and I'll see you guys on the next video.